One, two, three. What? Welcome back to another edition of the Cooking Light Taste Test. We are trying more pumpkin. Jamie, you're wearing the same clothes that you wore last week. I know, and you are too. That's so weird. I don't know how that happened. Well, it looks like you made a friend. I did. No, yeah. let's try more pumpkin. More pumpkin More spice. pumpkin. This looks like a freeze-dried cake that... It's a marshmallow. Like if you add water and it'll pff, turn into a cake. It's a marshmallow. Is it? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can I just put this out? If I had a cup of coffee that was just regular coffee <clears throat> and I wanted it to be sort of like instant pumpkin spice coffee, I would drop this in because this is exploding with pumpkin spice flavor. Wow. Like a lot of pumpkin spice flavor and it would drift throughout the whole cup of coffee and maybe be Take over good. the world. Mm -hmm. But you know what I wouldn't do? Mm -hmm. Eat it. Just reach in and grab a bite. Wow. That was a lot. It really hits you hard. Mm -hmm. It's pretty offensive. <laughs> it's aggressive, I would it's say. Really That's aggressive an aggressive pumpkin, pumpkin. spice. What one pumpkin. One pumpkin straight or one pumpkin in the imaginary cup of coffee I just described to you? One pumpkin in the imaginary cup of coffee. Wow, okay. I'm gonna go with one and a half pumpkins in the imaginary cup of coffee because I, I want to try it mm -hmm. now that I've had this. Because it would just like melt. Because I think it would be good. Okay. All right, so this is this is Smashmallow's <laughs> pumpkin pie. The nutrition is uh, four marshmallows. If you could get through them. Four solid marshmallows is one oh. serving size, and that is 80 calories. So you had like like five calories right there. That was it in that one little bite. Felt like more. <laughs> um, no fat, no cholesterol, 19 grams of carbs, 15 grams of sugar total, um, and those are all added sugars. So there's a lot of added sugar, but it's marshmallow, so what do you expect? But I would say if you are into all the pumpkin spice and you want some sort of a healthy um, dessert type substance. I'd make a s'more with them. Okay. Oh, these are just oh, so cute. Nice. There's like a little pepita in here. And they're covered in yogurt. Oh, they smell like pumpkin. They do. Mm. These are like little granola snacks. I don't know. I'm ready for a palate cleanser. All right, ready? Oh, yep. It's like a little concentrated ball of granola, basically. Mm -hmm. with, with like a like a yogurt dip. With, with just a touch of yogurt. Mm -hmm. I think it was really delicious. It was sweet. It was salty. And there's a lot of pumpkin coming at you, but it didn't taste artificial to me, mm -hmm. which is so refreshing after some of the things we've eaten today. But I'm, I'm, I tend to be like a morning granola cereal person, mm -hmm. not like a granola snack bar person. But Maybe it's like a good mid-afternoon snack. Yeah, they're so tasty though. How do you rate it? Four and a half pumpkins. Whoa, that's a lot of pumpkins. I'm gonna give that a solid four pumpkins. Four I pumpkins. liked it, I thought it was pretty good, um, but maybe not as much as you loved it. Oh, I loved it. Yay! College athlete. We got Archer Farms pumpkin spice, pumpkin spice snack plates. That's kind of hard to say. So that's Target's house brand. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is made with cookie pieces, oats, and pumpkin seed kernels. The cookie is what I was tasting. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's very sweet. Super good. Um, so the serving size is five pieces, which is pretty good. Mm -hmm. 140 calories, six grams of fat, two and a half grams of sat fat, 18 carbs, only 50 milligrams of sodium, which is surprising because I had kind of like a sweet, salty thing going on. It did, me. yeah. They made good use of the salt. Um, n only nine grams of sugar and three grams of protein. That's actually not that bad. It feels like a treat. Like I would eat five of these for dessert. Yeah, or like, like I, like you said, uh, maybe with a cup of coffee in the morning as sort of a tide me over. Mm -hmm. I'd say this is sort of an all around winner. Yeah, I like this one a lot. All right, so what do we have? These are like little snack bites of granola. Granola? Mm -hmm. Looks like there's like some sort of pretzel in here. Oat pretzel snack bites. They look sweet. Oh. Mmm. Oh. There's like some nut too. It's like praline and pecan. This almost broke my tooth. It's like brittle, but it's good. It's not like overly dry. Like there's gotta be a lot of sugar in this. Mm -hmm. I feel like it could actually be a a tad bit saltier. And I would give these a solid three and a half stars. 
Mm. See, these just were not for me. They're so hard. I feel like I'm gonna like break a tooth. And my dentist is rolling watching this right now. <laughs> I would give this like two pumpkins. Creative Snacks Co. Pumpkin Pecan Granola. It like, is that it's just a like... solid clump. Oh. Wow, so you have to like kind of break it up. Um, there's no artificial anything. No high fructose corn syrup, hydrogenated oil, artificial color, flavors or preservatives, or cholesterol, which is pretty cool. There are six servings in a container. You get about two thirds of a cup, 230 calories. Okay. 10 grams of fat and a gram of sap fat. Um, 90 milligrams of sodium, mm -hmm. 32 carbs, 3 grams of fiber, and 14 grams of sugar. So if you're doing this as like sort of a morning breakfast, like you're really mm -hmm. using this as granola, that's relatively healthy. Like with a container of yogurt. Mm -hmm. Or a little bit of milk. The part I guess I worry about is that there's 14 grams of sugar in this, and when you put it on yogurt, I mean, depending on what kind of yogurt, if you're doing like plain, unsweetened, mm -hmm. it'd probably be a good breakfast. But if you're putting it on top of like hmm, pumpkin spice yogurt, right, it might be kind of an overkill. Mm -hmm. But what you know, what do you think? I would say it seems relatively healthy, but it really does depend on what you eat it with, especially because granola you don't tend to eat all of its own. Mm -hmm. Wait for time. I can't think of these as healthy in any way, but these were my like go-to snack. Like the lemon ones or the vanilla ones were, that was what I ate You'd in high school, up. after school. Cheers. Mostly just tastes like sugar between two wafers. I like it. It's not a strong pumpkin flavor. It still has that like kind of tang. These have got to be way too sweet though. Just let me have this moment. The nutritional information is going to bring us right back down, isn't it? Yummy. Based on taste, how do you rate them? <laughs> Probably five pumpkins. <laughs> it's so good. It tastes like just like everything you want in a wafer with like a little bit of cinnamon, sugar. Mm -hmm. But it's so sweet. I would say, yeah, I would give these a five too. They're so good. They're so good. Wootman. Wortman Bakery. Wootman. Okay. <laughs> so these are? Wootman. Dutch. Uh, pumpkin spice wafers baked with real pumpkin. No artificial colors or flavors, no high fructose corn syrup. That's cool. 150 calories for three wafers, seven grams of fat, one and a half grams sap fat, 30 milligrams sodium, 21 grams of carbs, and 15 grams of added sugar. For three wafers, and you're gonna eat nine. First ingredient, sugar. sugar. Second ingredient, sugar. more sugar. Third ingredient, Lots of sugar. No, I'm just kidding. And they are not good for you. Honestly, I, if you can stop at three, more power to you. You're like out of this world, a different species and someone I probably can't relate to. But this would be a really good dessert. So yeah, That's a lot. just eat super healthy, save everything for these three wafers. Nothing but salads. It's worth it. <laughs> All right, Chris, what do we have here? I'm starting to get a little pumpkin fatigue. We have what looks to me to be pumpkin spice tortilla, tortilla chips. chips, which would go really well with your pumpkin salsa or your pumpkin spice um, sour cream. What? <laughs> Those do not exist. But you could make pumpkin spice sour cream. You just take some pumpkin spice stop, and stop. then stir it into the stop sour cream. Stop it right now. No, I'm against... cutting you off. <laughs> you know, these are pumpkin flavored, but I don't think they're pumpkin spice. They're not sweet. It actually just tastes like they ground some pepitas into the chip. And these are good. They don't give me that same fall feeling though. They're delicious. They're hearty. The pumpkin, um, the pepitas and the pumpkin kind of like subtle flavor. Mm -hmm. I, I love them. I would put these out like for game day with some actual salsa. Yeah. I think that they're pretty good. Yeah, I, I definitely wouldn't go for them if I was having a pumpkin spice craving. I wonder if they're any healthier than regular tortilla chips. Let's find out. Sprouts. Oh, so oh. these are like, these are um, grocery, store grocery store brand, pumpkin seed tortilla chips. 140 calories, eight grams of fat, one gram of sat fat, only 45 milligrams of sodium, which is nothing. It's like 2% of your daily value. Uh, 17 grams of carbs and two grams of fiber. That's really good. Yeah, and you get an ounce, so there's six per container, so like a normal serving size. Mm -hmm. I would say these are much healthier than regular tortilla chips. There's less salt, I think there are fewer carbs, and there's added fiber, mm -hmm. which is awesome. And honestly, like 
They taste great. I wouldn't think twice if they were out at a party. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and give these four and a half pumpkins. Um, I would say like they get a half point off for just not being uh, super pumpkin flavored, but they're super healthy and they're super tasty. I give these five pumpkins. Nice. We're on a roll right now. And these are much healthier than the wafers. So. Oh. This is some sort of a powdered Ooh, wow. sugar. Wow, smell it. Pumpkin cookie. Smell it. <laughs> Waft. Oh yeah. It almost smells like, you know like when you put kind of too much vanilla and mm -hmm. it's almost a little alcoholy mm -hmm. in your cookies? It almost smells like that. It is really soft. But it tastes kind of like pumpkin snickerdoodle. It tastes like it's a un undercooked. Yeah, like Play-Doh. Mm -hmm. Well, but Play-Doh you don't cook. What do you rate it? Hmm, two pumpkins. Yeah, I'm gonna, actually I'm just gonna go with you on that, two pumpkins. Mm -hmm. We can both do our two pumpkins. Okay, so this is Dewey's Bakery Soft Baked Pumpkin Pie Cookies. And I wanna just point out that this is the picture on the box. <laughs> And this is it, what you get. <laughs> Expectation versus reality. Um, one cookie is 90 calories. It's got four grams of fat and two grams of sat fat, okay. which is 10% of your DV. 130 milligrams of sodium. It's got seven grams of added sugar, which is 14%. And um, five milligrams of cholesterol. So it's not terribly unhealthy. So I would say, in general, I would probably stay away from this. Me too. One, two, three. <gasps> what? Why are you eating a Twinkie with a spoon? I've got to be honest with you, I don't know if I've ever had a Twinkie. <laughs> <laughs> I think you just pick it up. I can't tell if that's a good Twinkie or a bad one. It tastes like end times. What? You know, because like they're the only thing that are gonna last after the apocalypse. It's like Twinkies and cockroaches, right? It's not good. Mmm. Wow. It tastes like pumpkin spice shaving cream was shoved into four-day-old cake. I think I would just make my own cake. Pumpkin spice Twinkies exist, and now we have tried one for you, America. <sighs> Yay! Okay, so. Archer Farms Pumpkin Spice Snack Bites with Cookie Pieces, Oats, and Pumpkin Seed Kernels is my winner. And mine is Sprouts Pumpkin Seed Tortilla Chips. All right. Oh my gosh, you guys, we've eaten tons of pumpkin spice flavored stuff in the last two weeks. I'm exhausted. I'm ready for something else, and I hope that on the next taste test, we're not wearing these and we're not trying pumpkin things. Yes. Although these can maybe stay. All right, so if you're watching on Facebook, please be sure to comment and tell us what other fall flavored foods are your favorite. And if you're watching on YouTube, be sure to hit the bell button and subscribe so that anytime we post a video, you get to see it. All right, thanks again. Bye. Bye.